I really like using Instagram because of the different avenues that it gives me to do photography that I wouldn't normally do in my normal work. And it just gives me a lot of freedom to play and have fun. And it, it's actually, I think for a lot of people, has opened up a lot of doors to new ways of looking at things and uh, new opportunities and just to be free to make pictures for picture's sake. Hi, I'm Graham Roy, Director of uh, News Photography of the Canadian Press. I've always been very interested in kind of architectural photography. It's just, it's fascinating. Every day, the light is different. Every day, you're, you see a different picture in the same place. Uh, it's because the light changes constantly. You know, I'll spend all afternoon just chasing those, those shafts of light as they make their way through the city trying to find a picture. Using the, the phone, I mean, it's just a tool. It, it's the same as if you use a DSLR or a point-and-shoot camera. I shoot pictures with all sorts of different things. They were using the QX lenses. They give a much wider range than you could get with the iPhone because they've got a much better zoom, the higher quality optics. The great thing about iPhones and mobile photography is that it's really democratized photography and allowed people to play with the pictures more, be artistic about it, and, um, and kind of explore their own vision. And then we come to where this light is landing. A decent picture right there where that guy's going to ride through that pool of light. I've always been very interested in, in kind of like the buildings and the people within the environment. It's just very exciting to walk out and see something maybe a block away and you go, oh man, I gotta go, I gotta go see that. And you, and you, you run down to it and you, and you make a picture because the light is just so fantastic.